Tango 3 to Sergeant Washington. Hey, thank you. You can power down. But after a day of searching, authorities are no closer to tracking down their suspect. We do not have an apprehension of our suspect this afternoon. The stay indoors request is lifted. We are asking the public to remain vigilant. If you are out, continue to be alert to suspicious activity. People nervously emerge from their homes. On Franklin Street in Watertown, just a few blocks from where the Mercedes is abandoned, one resident notices something odd in the backyard. You just got a 911 call from uh, a lady basically stating that uh, she has a boat stored out in her backyard and there was some blood on the canvas. You really don't have your hopes up. You know, I wasn't really expecting too much, but uh, as soon as we got on scene, came up over the neighborhood, and uh, Eric uh, saw the boat sitting in the backyard, and I just swung the FLIR over to it, and uh, it was covered with uh, shrink wrap, not a canvas. The thin plastic shrink wrap was not enough to obscure an infrared image beneath. I got a perfect picture. I got incredible detail. I knew right away, you know, that it was definitely somebody in the boat. They were actually looking at us as we flew over. We detected a little bit of movement. Uh, his body is, uh, head is towards the uh, back of the boat. He's lying uh, on the side of that fence. Technology. I was pretty surprised that uh, not only was uh, there a person in the boat, but the, the definition and clarity that, uh, that I got from the camera. The side of the fence, the side of the boat he's on. Uh, the fence side. We'll come back around with The infrared system was incredibly important. There is uh, evidence that that person is injured and that person is moving about inside that boat. 